Hola, por favor, and welcome to your daily dose of Fortnite. Today I'm going to be going through the changes that I made uh, leading up to Twine Peaks Storm Shield Defense 3. Uh, we finally made it here, the, finally grinded out enough missions. Um, so I'm going to start here with the home base real quick. On the east side is the only way I get attacked now. Um, and I pretty much just replaced traps. The only thing I added was this lower level of darts here on this section. But other than that, all I did was put some more floor traps on my ramps, replace the launchers that had been used up, and any other traps that had been used up. So that's pretty much everything I did on my home base. Um, I will go over to amplifier A. Looks like we're experiencing a little lag right now. This is interesting. So if you remember amplifier A, we didn't have much built up to the west, um, and then it all got blown up at the very end of Storm Shield Defense 2 from some propane, and unfortunately the shield did not expand pretty much at all. Um, so what I'm going to have to do when I do the third Storm Shield Defense is just run over here and then rebuild this area real quick. Um, because they spawn way over there and then they come up this hill and I can knock a good amount of them off the hill um, with launchers but like I said all of, all of it got blown up pretty much all the floors so I just replaced a couple launchers up here um, put some darts here and then uh, I'm prepared to put some more traps down in this area when the storm shield actually starts when I actually do it because then the shield will expand um, you can see how far it was expanded before when I was doing Storm Shield Defense 2 because I got to put up this huge lobber screen, but I cannot get out there right now. So that will be part of the change. Wow, this is some real bad lag. Um, but anyway, um, nothing really to the west has changed um, yet because I have to do it once the shield expands. To the north, Pretty much same thing, no changes, just added some more traps where there were none. Um, like this launcher wasn't here. I extended um, like ceilings. I have one ceiling there with another zapper or electric field. Put another electric field out here just to hit them as they come up the ramp. Um, but other than that, this tunnel is exactly the same as it was for Storm Shield Defense 2. And then we will head over to the new amplifier that I had to place for this storm shield, amplifier B. And I kind of made like a compact design here. Um, so right now on the east side I have built up, you can see, let me get out here. I don't know exactly where they spawn, I think it's going to be down by these trees somewhere around here. But the only way they can come up is this ramp here or over to the side. Um, and I built a little, there's a natural ramp, one tile behind this, um, but I just put my own ramp so I could put my traps on it. And you can see as they walk up the uh, hill here, they're going to be get, getting hit by darts. And then when they walk on here, they'll get hit by the floor spikes, slowed down by the floor spikes. This launcher will launch them over here to a little room to do some damage, and then a launcher to launch them back off so they'll have to walk back up again. They make it past that. Here's a launcher, gas trap on the ceiling and spikes on the ground. That'll launch them into this little corridor. Um, and then they'll be getting hit by dynamos to take some more impact damage because I want them to get hit by the floor launchers and launch back up and over this wall, either off all the way or into one of these two tiles where again, there's two sets of launchers, darts hitting them from both sides and then dynamos for some more impact damage so the launchers will actually knock them off if it's like a smasher or something then they have to start all over again. They make it all the way through there. There's another launcher that launches them over here into the side tunnel. So I'm not sure if any will come around this side, but if they do, I have a little tunnel built up. Launcher, spikes slow them down over to this tile, a floor launcher, to launch them back to the east, and then this wall launcher that'll launch them back this way, either onto this tile or off the edge, and they'll have to redo this section again. Then I just have my standard launchers in front, spikes, on the ground, alternating between wood and retractable, alternating between sealing electric field and gas, and then darts shooting them in the back. Here I have dynamo, so I can have darts and dynamo shooting them because this is the last tile 
um, right here because once they get here they get hit by the launcher launch back onto this tile where they get taking uh, ceiling zapper damage uh, single target because I assume only things will make it here are like smashers so I just need to hit one thing at a time and then I got the floor spikes and then the launcher just launching them away again um, towards that dynamo and the darts and then maybe out the tunnel if we get lucky um, I did put some darts behind this 45 um, they have been shooting through 45s I'm not sure if that's a bug or if that's intended but um, I'm gonna take full advantage of it right now and then I may put um, like a wall on this rock just shooting darts through this section in case we get too much too many husks this way for the south side I don't have anything built right now but as you can see this ramp is the only way they can come up so basically what I am going to do is if I could open my build menu there we go put floors here and I'm just gonna do a standard um, kind of stair step build I guess I'm gonna start it one tile out so that I can put ramps and get more floor traps and this is extremely difficult with the lag so I'll have to come finish this um, with the traps once um, once the shield expands just like the uh, west side of amplifier A but this will be basically wooden spikes then the um, retractable spikes not ceiling we want floor There we go. Wow, <laughs> that is slow. Um, and then I will be putting, I can build. Basically, dart shooting them in the back all the way up the ramp and then sealing traps above them as they walk up the ramp as well. And then when I can, I'll put a wall on this side with launchers that'll just launch them off the side so they'll have to come back up the ramp because they can't get up anywhere else as you can see um, there is some sort of secret tunnel here but that does not come up to my amplifier so I don't have to worry about that so let's go ahead and finish building this real quick and we will go ahead here. Actually, you know what? We're going to put a wall here and then here, so we'll have two opportunities to knock them off the cliff here. And I actually want to get rid of this. So I can put 45s here. And then we'll have two more opportunities to launch them off the cliff, so they'll have to start over. So that will be nice. Come on. And we're going to hope that this lag is not here when I'm actually doing the storm shield. There we go. And here, if they want to try to beat through this, we'll just put a launcher here. So launch them all the way back down. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to put darts on those just quite yet. doesn't look like it but we'll put darts there and then we'll make another layer down here all the way down to the bottom um, just so they're taking a lot of damage on the way up and I guess we can put some ceiling traps here at least one layer so basically when this is done I'll upgrade all this to tier 3 and we will have our final um, final section here Maybe. Let's go ahead and put a full wall there. And the 45. And we'll put a half wall here. Now, normally I would, in a section like this, I would knock them with this wall over to this wall with the launcher and knock them off again. 
but I don't want to knock anything here like a smasher because this is the amplifier wall and if a smasher gets here he'll just charge right through and I don't want that to happen. So that's why I'm not using a launcher on that wall. But we will put a floor launcher here that'll knock them back and then knock them off. And if we can we'll edit this wall. And then we'll just put a couple dynamos here. Just for some damage at the end. So that is all the changes for Twine Peak Storm Shield Defense 3. Um, they will not come from the west on this amplifier. At least I hope they won't. I don't know how they're going to get up if they do. So I'll worry about that later. Um, but yeah, make sure to check out my video of me running it uh, solo. I will link that in the description of this video and then also put a little card at the end of the video where you can just click to uh, get to that video. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoy watching my content, uh, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And um, hit the notification button so you know whenever I release a new video. Um, other than that, uh, have a great day.